Hey everyone, it's May. Uh, today I'm doing a other mother slash Coraline inspired body paint. You can see I kind of have an outline here. This um, look is inspired by Mel or Mcroft07. I really liked their look. I did change a few details, put uh, some more details in some areas, but for the most part, the idea is from Mcroft. So, just going through, and I'm just first starting off with beauty makeup, so I'm just doing my contour, or just a light contour, and then I'm gonna go back for more detail a little bit later. And then I'm putting on my five freckles on one side and then just kind of deepening up the lip area because um, that is kind of more deeper in the anime movie. And then I'm putting on a kind of a coral tone lipstick. And then I'm starting off with the other mother side of the face. So I have a button that I made out of paper. Actually, it's a post-it note. <laughs> you can kind of see in the pictures, but that's all right. I'm um, just doing all white where the other mother's face is. I'm not worrying too much about making it perfect because I'm going to be covering it up a lot with like cracks and stuff because that's very much the other mother. And now I'm using a black shadow. This one's specifically from um, ColourPop. Um, but he's any, and then I'm using NYX Epic Ink Liner. We're going to be doing a lot of outlining in this one in a lot of spaces, but yeah, so we're just going to go through and add shadows around the other mother side, and I'm not worrying too much about the Coraline part right now, I'm just kind of focusing on other mother. So here you can see I'm starting to put in some of the cracks, some of them doing lighter, some of them doing darker, and I'll go back over some of these with the liner. But I'm just gonna start off by taking some black shadows, just kind of filling in where the shot, where the button is, so it my like actual eye doesn't like show as much. And then I'm just taking, doing some shadowing um, along those cracks. I did some I did a lot more shadows than I did for others, and that's just how I was rolling at the moment. And then you can see I'm adding in. Um, the eyebrows and then going in with that dark the liner for some darker spots on those cracks as I mentioned just adding a few more touches on the shadowing or shading I should say it's the shading on the other mother side and now I'm just gonna take a mauve tone slash gray um, kind of around where the um, the the face side is and just doing it just slightly away from the edge so it kind of gives like a highlight to that center part without having to put like a white down. Um, and then I'm gonna take Bone Tone. All these paints are from Major Look. So this is Bone Tone, just to make a button. Now I'm going back in with Yeti to put in a rib cage because the other mother has a rib cage in the center part of her chest. And then she's got a very lovely pinstripe type checkered almost looking suit so I'm just doing the whole thing in Yeti from Major Look just because um if you try putting black and then the white it turns just it just gets muddied and gray so I just did the white first and then I'm going in with ink to fill in those gaps on the rib part and then I'm going to actually do the lines for the kind of pinstripe suit here and you'll see how it's kind of like lighter and that is because these are water activated paints so regardless of how much you actually put like let it dry the white's always going to reactivate when water comes back onto it so it's not going to be perfectly black when you place black or type of white but i can fix that easily with eye liquid liquid liner so that's where i'm not worrying about too much so just going in and repeating the kind of pinstripe pattern from the throughout the entire thing kind of trying to keep them not like completely lined up so that way I don't lose track of it and then you'll see I thought the one area kind of got a little bit hard to see so I'll go back in in a bit and kind of make that more stand out but just real quick I'm putting some shading on the rib cage just to make that really stand out and give that some depth and dimension and then I'm also using a gray um, shadow, also from ColourPop. And because I have to go in on the um, the shirt, I think it's after this part is where I then went through and made some more definitions. 
between where the black and the white is by using that liquid liner. Um, both of them are from NYX. One's Epic liner and the other is just regular white liner that I normally use. It's, I think, literally just called white like liquid liner. It's not like a special name or anything. So just going through and defining those white spots that kind of got lost. And then just adding a little bit more shading. Just going around. And then I'm going to go back in and just quickly add some more shading on my buttons to make them look like buttons. A little bit of white to do a highlight on the bone tone. And then I'm going in with Sunflower from Made You Look. And I'm doing this in parts. So I'm doing the side of Other Mother first. And then I'm going to go in on the other side. And that's just so I don't get lost between the two sides when I'm doing all the shading and whatnot because I'm going to lose my pattern so I didn't want to lose it too in depth and then you can see here I'm adding more um contour around my my eye area and then just giving myself some actual like line like eyeshadows but I'm trying to keep it very neutral because Coraline's not like wearing a lot but I wanted the contour to really stand out in that kind of claymation type way that Coraline has which is very heavy around the nose area and then I just took a white um, milk pencil from Colourpop to put in my waterline and then just did a normal eyeliner and then um, we're doing some black outlining here on the actual pieces and this is just so I don't get lost but also because that's kind of how Ancroft did hers I'm just adding more detail on mine for the jacket and um, adding in the strap for the um, bag that Cor Coraline op often is wearing in the movie. So you'll see I'm just outlining where things are going to go. And I'm taking a mustard um, yellow color to just start out with all of the shading on the coat. But I'm going to be going in as well with a brown and a black um, just to kind of make it even more stand out and give it more depth and dimension and make it kind of blend in more. So you'll see like I'm starting out with just kind of a very light tone of this um, mustard yellow and then adding another bone tone um, button on me. And then I'm going in with the actual black here now to make those really deep. But I'm also using a brown mixed in with it. And this is all from the same color pop. Um, palette it's the stone cold fox i don't know if they still have that one available but that's what i'm using so just going through everything and deepening up all the shadows and i'm going to be adding um highlights as well but this is just really just to make this as defined as possible and make it look like the coat so i some white on the button and then i'm going in now with more sunflower on the other side as I said, I kind of started with one side and then I went to the other side and that's just so I don't get lost, but I'm going to be going in and adding more detail as I go. So we're taking bone, not bone tone, <laughs> this is sunflower and I'm doing everything. I was debating at one point if I should um, wait on doing the lower section before I did the upper, but I decided just to do it all at once. And then I'm going to take oak, which is a lovely brown from Aging Look to make that strap for her um, book bag that she kind of carries around throughout the movie. And then I'm just adding some oak where kind of the drawstrings of her raincoat are. And then I'm going to be adding in the outlines. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm talking to chat about um, a corgi that was up in my bookcase <laughs> that I got from work. Um, but yeah, just going through and outlining everything kind of how I had it before. But I have, like, no guide. So, like, I'm kind of going off of them craft at this point. But I'm also kind of just looking at the movie to um, make that look how it's supposed to in the movie. Some spots aren't exact. But I tried as hard as I could to make it, like, as close as possible. And then I'm just going in, as I did on the other side, with the mustard colored first on a big brush. And then I'm going to go in with a brown-black combo to do the rest. And then I'm, um, I realized that it kind of smudged a little as I was reaching over and painting. So I just kind of replicating it on one side to the other to make it look intentional, even though it's not. And you don't really see it in the pictures, but it's there. And I know it's there. And that, that makes me happy because it looks, it looks intentional, even though it's not. But I was, uh, going in with detailing, 
and I'm just doing some black for some more outlines in spaces. I know I don't have like an outline especially right now, but I'm still gonna have that there anyways, just to give the raincoat some more detail. And you'll see I kind of add some more detail in some random spots just to give the coat some more movement. Again, you're not gonna see this in the picture, but it's there purely for <laughs> basically Twitch and this video that I know it's there. The, vid the pictures don't have it, but we, we all know I tried giving it some movement and I knew that one looks wrong, but again, you don't see it in the final product in the picture. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. Um, just adding some more black um, outlining on the book bag to give it some more depth and whatnot. And then just finishing up any shadows I think need to be touched up here. And then I think we're going into highlight land, which is where I call, I go over the top. Nope, I'm first adding more of the kind of button type thing from the other mother that was up top on the neck, so that way this one thing is connected. And now we highlight. So I'm starting off by outlining or highlight, putting the white in all the spots I want highlighted. So this is not the final thing. I like to put the white down as a base because it makes it stand out. But then I like to take like a lighter color of whatever is underneath to actually make the highlights. So that way the white doesn't look like it's too stand out. Cause you can tell the white really just like, it feels out of place and sometimes. So I kind of just put it down and then I take another color and put it on top. So I ended up starting with a one tone for yellow and then I switched to a different yellow tone that was kind of more mustardy um, from a different NYX palette. But I'm using brown on the um, actual bag. But this is now where I'm put going in with yellow. I was using one tone and then I switched to a different tone and then I switched to a different tone again. I don't know if you can see, you can't really see it because it, it happened way too fast for um, when I speed it up for you to catch it, but that's what I did. Um, so I'm just going over literally every single white that I laid down, I'm putting that um, the yellow, mustardy yellow on top. So yeah, that's basically how I created the other mother slash Coraline inspired by M. Croft um, look. I'll put her link in the description box so you guys can see it. Um, I'm just putting on my button now. So I put the button initially like on my lid and I didn't like that. So I moved it up to my brow. You'll see it in a second. That was me just putting on, doing, fixing up the wig, how it's supposed to be. And here's where you can see, I put lash glue on the back of my button and then I type that to my brow. And yeah, that's basically the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big old like, subscribe, the YouTube things, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!